What's up everyone, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids and today we're going to be looking at the Benchmade Triage. What we're looking at right here is the 915 BK. The BK stands for black, so black blade and black handle as well. You can get this in a variety of different setups. So you can get it with an orange handle, you can get it with a black handle, you can get it with a black blade or a satin finish. You can also get it as a plain edge or partially serrated. So tons of different options for the 915 in the triage family. Let's go through some of the specs real quick. Your blade length is 3.5 inches. Your blade thickness is 0.13 inches. Your overall length is 8 inches. Uh, the blade material is N680, and that is a very corrosion resistant steel, so it's going to be good to keep any kind of junk off. In particular, uh, salt water is going to be resistant to salt water. Your handle material is textured G10. This is not a combo edge, this is just a plain edge, and your blade style is a sheep's foot blade style. This does come with the very famous and very loved access lock from Benchmade, and that's gonna hold a ton of uh, pressure, so you can use this thing aggressively. That's what it's made for. This is in the black class of uh, the Benchmade knives. You have blue class, which is kind of their everyday use, wide variety of uses. Uh, their black class is geared toward people in professional fields, so EMTs, uh, police, law enforcement, etc. I've put out the uh, strap cutting hook here and you can see basically this is a great knife that has multiple functions as far as, you know, for somebody who wants something that's not going to just be straight up a pocket knife, but you've got the blade for all your cutting there, you've got your strap cutter and you actually have a window punch down here as well. So a lot of different options built right into the triage. Let's talk about the blade here a bit. You can see we have thumb stud on this side as well as on the other side, so easy deployment of the, uh, of the blade. The style again is sheep's foot, and the main concept behind this is that you don't have a very aggressive point though. So if you do have to get in close to cut something, especially near a person, um, that you're not gonna actually be stabbing into them, that gives you a little bit more safety. I will tell you, having used this for a while, that I don't find that lack of an aggressive point as an issue for me. So I thought, you know, cutting into boxes or cutting things, we get kind of had to pierce in and then cut. I didn't know if that was gonna be aggressive enough, but it does a fine job nonetheless. And then once again, your blade steel here, let me flip this around this way. Your blade steel being this uh, N680, uh, the idea is that it's gonna be corrosion resistant. So if you have to work in an environment where there's lots of junk that can get onto your, uh, onto your blade, shouldn't be an issue because this steel is made to resist that. Here's a look at the glass breaker right there on the end of the knife. I was concerned that when I had this in my pocket that this would scratch up my hand if I reached in to take the knife out or get something else out and it was no problem whatsoever. So it's subdued enough that it's not gonna cause you a lot of problems as far as your everyday carry situation, uh, but now you do have that window punch included in the, um, in the knife. Quick look here at your pocket clip and I would call this pretty deep as far as the carry, but having a little bit of space here between where the top of your pocket will ride, which is here, and then a little bit of this knife does allow it to be easier to take out of your actual pocket. Here's a close up of the strap cutter. And the one thing I would say I was very impressed with this uh, is that the jimping is just perfectly located. So right there and then right here as well. So when I deployed it and I held it, I said, okay, here's where my hand falls most comfortably. The jimping is right there and the jimping is right there. So that's very, very comfortable to actually do that. And let me show you what the deployment looks like now. There's your little thumb stud on the hook. You're gonna swing this out. And it doesn't lock into place, but inside the mechanism, uh, it has to kind of move over a small ball bearing. And so it doesn't lock in, but it clicks into place. And swing it back down in, and then see if you can hear that. Yep, so that's that little noise of it uh, clicking into place. Once again, jimping there and jimping here, that's exactly where I would want to hold it. And if you get comfortable with it a little bit, just with a tiny flick of the wrist and hitting that thumb stud, you can deploy it quite easily. G10 for the handles, not super aggressive, but more aggressive than maybe some other uh, pocket knives. That's because you wanna have a nice solid grip on that and control on that in case you get water, blood, anything like that on this. If you're an EMT or uh, police officer, you wanna make sure that you have good solid control on that. Nice little groove there, gives you uh, a little more grip when you're holding onto it. And that's that little jimping on top. So that's all the specs on the knife and some of the details when I uh, zoomed in up close to the different parts. I'll show you what it looks like in use. Here's a look at it in my pocket, and as you can see, easy to take out and deploy. One of the most common tests when people are testing knives is to cut cardboard, but instead of doing that, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. This is actually tar paper that fell off the roof of a uh, shed behind the house, so I'm gonna cut this instead just to show you how the, uh, the knife works on something like this.
For our next test, we'll do some rope cutting. And even though this does look like rock climbing rope, it's just your standard stuff that you'd pick up at Home Depot. I'll show you here, it does cut through quite clean. So no real problem with that. Next thing I want to show you is using the rescue hook to actually cut this rope. Now because this rope is actually bigger than the um, little cutout there for the, uh, the rescue hook, it's going to take a little bit of maneuvering once I actually get it locked onto the rope, but it still does cut through nicely. Here's a look at the edge after the uh, using the safety cutter to cut through and quite a clean cut even though the fact you had to kind of maneuver this thing back and forth a little bit. Next thing I want to show you here is cutting through some webbing and while this isn't a seatbelt strap it is still webbing very strong uh, very good material so we'll show you what the strap cutter looks like and I've basically made this taut so if it was similar to a seatbelt that had gotten locked into place in a car we'll show you what that looks like to use the strap cutter to cut through that. So super fast, super easy, nice clean cut. Do a couple more here for you. I mean, it's just like, feels like you're just breaking a string. It's really easy to do. And one more here. As you can see here, almost a perfect 90 degree angle there. I mean, it's just very, very clean when cutting with that strap cutter. All right guys, so you saw the uh, triage as I was giving the specs and the details on them. Now what we're going to do is have Derek from Benchmade walk through some of the details on the kind of triage line as well as kind of a little bonus feature there at the end and give you some information about something similar from the uh, from the hunt line. So Derek, thanks for your time and let's uh, let's talk through the knives here. Yeah, Tim. Uh, you know, the triage, this is one of the originals. This is the manual version, of course. You know, you have your G10 handle scales. Uh, this particular model is, of course, the 915 with the sheep's foot blade. Um, does come in plain edge or combo, uh, but you know the big part of the triage, of course, is its multi-tool facet. Uh, you have your carbide glass breaker, and of course, the ever so popular safety hook, which is amazing for cutting seatbelt material. I wish I had some on me at the show, but we didn't bring any, unfortunately. But it cuts through seatbelt. You just have to take my advice for it, um, and not cut your own seatbelts in your own car. <laughs> but it gets through it like butter, like nothing else. Um, and these are hand polished and hand finished at the end at our factory. Uh, they are all cut tests, and that's basically how um, you know that they're they're of quality and up to the par of what we want it to be. Um, one guy has actually been sharpening for the last three years, so he's got the ins and outs of that um, cool. of how these these hooks are supposed to come out. So G10 handle scales, of course, our axis lock, very, very strong lock. You know, for anybody in an emergency situation, these are a very good option. We did definitely choose the sheep's foot blade for more of a, you know, less pointed blade, especially when you have to make some sort of cut that might be cut close to somebody. Um, but again, that's where the kind of safety hook comes in place. So part of the triage family too, of the original triage family, of course, it also does come in high vis orange. Um, great, especially in any low light situations. Uh, if you're, I don't know, everybody's may probably been in the situation where they're in the woods maybe, put a knife down and they can't find it anymore. You know, this is definitely will help you that stick out. Uh, but this one in particular, the nine, um, 916 features our opposing bevel, uh, which is amazing for prying. The edge is actually a chisel grind. So very easy, a lot easier to sharpen, more or less because you only really have to sharpen one bevel on it. Uh, it does come in combo or plain edge safety hook is uh, as usual and um, good old carbide glass breaker so after the launch of the initial and the success of the initial uh, triages we came out with the auto triage versions um, and we did modify those a little bit of course to accommodate uh, automatic functions so as you can tell it's a little beefier you do have a GT G10 inlay into your alu anodized aluminum handles uh, this one's more of a traditional kind of drop point blade instead of a sheep's foot 
but they are axis auto, so you give the axis bar a pull back, it fires off your auto. In addition, our uh, safety hook, in addition to the carbide glass breaker, our safety hook also automatic. And another be benefit to the, the auto function is the original triage, I should probably uh, wow. note that this doesn't actually have a lock. However, whenever you are using a hook, in theory, you're pulling away where it will never actually have to come into your hand. So that's nothing you really should have to worry about. But as an add feature with the auto version, it does lock until this gray button is depressed to release it. Of course, we also offer it in the auto function with the opposing bevel. Uh, all this blade steel, of course, is N680 across all the triage knives. N680, of course, saltwater rated. Does really well in uh, saltwater environments. So that pretty much covers it as far as our triage line. Uh, if you want to go something a little more subdued and kind of in the same ilk, but not really the same intent, uh, is part of our hunt series, which also kind of features multifunction. Uh, this is our uh, 15060-2 uh, Grizzly Creek folder. Now, we don't call it a safety hook on this. It's more of a gut hook, of course, because it's a hunting knife. But however, you know, as you can notice on the triage, it shares a lot of the same lineage. You notice the hook geometry is a little different. I assure you, you can actually still cut through seat belt and uh, other material just as easily in, in addition to animals. Um, S30V steel blade on the Hunt series in addition to a nice little recurve blade there. Uh, in this particular model, it only features uh, diamond wood, which is basically a composite wood that has wood grains, uh, but doesn't warp uh, absorb water, uh, warp with heat or cold, or, or absorb water, as I said. So, uh, just kind of a little more subdued version if you don't want to go too tactical or anything that's too aggressive in the grip style. So, something to consider, of course, when you're looking at the triage family. All right, guys. So, uh, you've seen the triage. You've seen the triage family. Uh, if you head over to knifehog.com, you can get a deal uh, using the Everyday Tactical Vids uh, coupon, which is down below there in the description. So uh, Derek, thanks for your time yeah, thanks, and uh, love Benchmade knives. So I want to encourage you guys, definitely be thinking about a Benchmade. If you don't own one now, you want to own one at some point, all right? We'll see you guys soon. Wrapping up here, let's offer some final thoughts. Uh, first thing I'll say is the things I like about it. So I like that it's got multiple features built into one knife. I'm a huge fan of uh, objects that have multiple purposes, you know, multi-tools, things like that. So the fact that I've got a knife, I've got a glass breaker and I've got the strap cutter all in one knife. That's a major plus for me. Overall construction is excellent. Again, it's in the black class from Benchmade Knives, so it's made for professionals. It's not just something you know they've thrown together cheaply, and they don't really do that with any of their gear. So uh, it's going to function very nicely, very well. Um, I like the overall size of it. I tend to be a, a guy who likes a knife that's a little bit larger, uh, maybe than some people, as far as an EDC blade. And this one, uh, even though it is a little bit big, maybe for some people, um, I do like the size. Downsides, I would say on the opposite side of the kind of size discussion, if you want something a little bit smaller, then I would recommend something like the Benchmade Griptilian, which is an awesome, awesome EDC knife. So if you don't want something with all the features and as big as this, maybe you want to think about the Benchmade Griptilian. The other thing is that some people um, are not going to like this texturing. I think it's going to be a little bit aggressive uh, for some people. It's, for, for me, it's not bad. Uh, but something people want something very smooth um, and this this does have definitely a bit of texture for getting that solid positive control on a knife if you do like the triage and you're thinking about purchasing one i want to encourage you to head over to knife hog and if you use the discount code i've included in the video description below you're going to save some money when you purchase your benchmade triage thanks as always for checking out our videos please subscribe to everyday tactical vids here on youtube if you haven't done so already like us on facebook follow us on twitter check us out on instagram and tumblr as well take care